Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe and uh, ring the bell if you want to see more <laughs> videos of me digging in the dirt. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTube fellow berserkers. Uh, today we're out looking for some quinchpan, some fat wood, in a forest that uh, is actually on my map, the Chaga Forest. But we decided to revisit this place today. And we have been here in about a year, and we wanted to see what's going on and how the forest is doing. We found a new, we found a new uh, tree with Chaga on it, uh, which we didn't see last time. Last time we was, it was pouring rain, and we didn't get to see a lot of the. Uh, surrounding areas too well. We had to kind of get in and get out, find what we need and get going. But today we've got an explicit chance to explore the forest and have some fun, take a look at all the wintertime scenario happening here. And actually we found some fat wood. Found a piece over here, it's real nice. I can find it again. That color right there, that is premium fat wood right there. This is the best quality, that color. I'm gonna saw this down. I'm gonna look at this here. There's also a really big kifa tree right here with the roots exposed. Let me just climb across. Yeah, we just climbed across the river. Like there's like a little ditch there. We couldn't get anything off the roots there because there's a, a the ditch is full of water. We kind of went over there. Now this piece right here. I want to see if I have another piece of root. I'm gonna clean this up here at the forest. I want to take all this dirt home with me, and I think the forest will profit uh, from all the materials that I'm giving back to it. So I don't want to take too much of this home. Just standing over here holding the camera. There's a tick. I'm gonna have to destroy it. Welcome to my workstation. Yeah. Tree number four, the forest. <laughs> ah, the beautiful sound of nature. Next to a railroad track. Awesome. I do keep hearing animals. I saw a fox just earlier, right over back there. Nice little piece. Nice red color. You can see the camera can focus. Calling all stations. Gotta hold still. silky saw I found in the forest while metal detecting and all I had to do was clean it it was still good someone lost it and I found it that's cool and it still works I thought they threw it away because it wasn't no now I gotta watch I don't lose it we are bragging about how I found this cool saw I have to come out here in the middle of the night there's my saw I saw it okay no fucking
All this rotten stuff. I'm gonna take that off. That's no good. That's what we need the axe for. Ha -ha. There's some good center of that is pretty nice too, but I'm just gonna take this piece here and uh, I'm gonna split it in half. See it's in the middle. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh wow, that smells really good. There's some uh, pine sap here crystallized in the center of this. This was pretty cool. All right, so an easy way to find fat wood, if some of these smaller trees that have died, if you give it a little effort, you can almost just pull up straight up out of the ground sometimes. They take a little bit of work once in a while. You dig at the roots. It's actually the part you want to get to is the bottom. Um, a good test though first is to chop into the center and see this one doesn't look like it'd be worth my time. So we're gonna leave this one alone. There's no orange color, this there's just a yellow the yellow of the wood. And I'm not smelling any of the uh, the like the turpentine smell that you're supposed to get from the from the fat wood from the from the from the resin. So we're gonna leave this one. There's plenty around here. So we'll have to look. Yeah this all kinds of things stick. This is a real swamp like you find in horror movies. It's a good place to bring the gold pan out. You never know where you might find gold. But today we're looking for fat wood. It's an adventure for another day. I'm filling my boogers? Mm -hmm. mm. Where'd we put the backpack? It was that way. <laughs> you have a tender fungus mushroom. This is the piece that you're actually going to want to use take some of this with us too. There's two of them growing on top of each other, which is really cool. You'll see that here a lot. I'll pull that one off, but over there on that tree, there's like a whole ladder of them, but they were already too rotten. And this material right here is what you'd use to make your tinder. And this one is real fresh so that you could probably even just cut this with a knife real easily. So I'm going to try to chop most of it with my axe now. This is the part you want up here, this brown, nice fluffy, it's real soft. And I have to shave away all of these, uh, these little tubes here. But we'll do that at home, that's, that's pretty easy to do. What's, what's really uh, a giveaway for a good one is, a, is that the hat on the mushroom is tall versus flat like this one most likely have more of this material, of this trauma, of this uh, fluffy material here to use. So I've seen videos where they cut it and they actually roll it like a, like a pizza dough and make it really thin. I mean, there's all kinds of different tricks and different methods to make it usable. Uh, you can boil it in ash, like a lye solution to make it more flammable. Some people even 
get it to where you can use it straight off the mushroom. I haven't gotten it, been able to have success like that yet with the flint steel. So let's go see what else we can find. They got a good piece here out of that tree stump there. It's a real nice orange color. It smells like oranges, like citrus. Like almost like a cleaning, cleaning it like pine salt. I'm gonna clean up this a little bit, clean up the outside, and see if we can get another couple pieces out of it. That was a lot of work. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe and uh, ring the bell if you want to see more <laughs> videos of me digging in the dirt. <laughs> of you who don't know what this is, yeah, Ooh, smells nice. <laughs> like, why is he smelling a branch that he's just pulled out of the ground? Well, in case you missed the first part of the video, punch myself in the face now. We are looking for fat wood. Yes, and I'm going to hopefully find some in here. So for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Really help out the channel if you click the subscribe button down here or down here. I'm not sure. That'll be all for today. I hope you ow, I hope you enjoyed me watching me dig in the dirt, walk through the forest, you get to see some of our autumn wonderland that's happening here. We got winter actually already is going to hit here, so we're gonna have snow here soon. I, first place in Germany actually got snowed in last week so I'm really excited to have lots of snow um, yeah so fatwood here it is fatwood fire starter we found a tender fungus mushroom we got some birch bark we found a, a good handful piece of pine resin that was on a dead tree as I was climbing across it I just snatched it up yeah, that was a lot of work today so we're gonna pack it up we have about two kilometer walk back to the car in the dark forest, swamp. It's full of dangerous animals. See, I hear it right there. Okay, 